pillars of faith, belief in the prophets and messengers. Question. What is meant by belief in the messengers? Answer. Praise be to Allah. Belief in the messengers implies four things. 1. Firm belief that Allah sent to every nation a messenger from amongst them, to call them to worship Allah alone and to disbelieve in everything that is worshipped instead of him. And that they, the messengers, were all truthful, speakers of the truth, righteous, wise, pious and honest, and that they conveyed everything with which Allah sent them. Concealing and altering nothing. They did not add even one letter from themselves or omit anything. Are the messengers charged with anything but to convey clearly the message? Al-Nail 1635, Interpretation of the Meaning Their message was the same, from the first to the last of them, based on the principle of Ta'id, i.e., that all kinds of worship should be devoted to Alayah alone, beliefs, words and deeds alike, and that everything that is worshipped instead of Alayah is to be rejected. The evidence for that is the verses, interpretation of the meanings. And we did not send any messenger before you, O Muhammad, but we revealed to him, saying, La ilaha illa anna, none has the right to be worshipped but I, Alaya, so worship me, alone and none else, Alon be a 2125. And ask, O Muhammad, those of our messengers whom we sent before you, did we ever appoint Aliha, gods, to be worshipped besides the most gracious, Alaya, al Zukru 4345. And there are very many similar verses. With regard to the obligatory duties by which Alaya is to be worshipped and the minor details of legislation, prayers and fasts may have been enjoined on some nations but not on others. And some things may have been forbidden to some and permitted to others, as a test from Alaya. Who has created death and life that he may test you which of you is best indeed? al Mulk 67-2, Interpretation of the Meaning The evidence for that is in the verse, Interpretation of the Meaning. To each among you, we have prescribed a law and a clear way. al Maida 548, Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, said, This means, a way and a path. Mujahid, Ikrima and many of the Mufasirin, commentators, said likewise. In Sahih al-Bukhari, 3443, and Sahih Muslim, 2365, it is narrated that Abu Hurairah said, The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, the prophets are like brothers from one father, their mothers are different but their religion is one, i.e., the prophets are united on the principle of Ta'id. The message with which Alaya sent every messenger whom he sent, and which he included in every book that he revealed, but their laws differed as to command and prohibitions. What was permitted and what was forbidden? Whoever disbelieves in the message of one of them has disbelieved in all of them, as Alaya says, interpretation of the meaning. The people of Nu, Noah, belied the messengers. al shuara 26-105. Alaya described them as disbelieving in all of the messengers even though there was no messenger other than Nu at the time when they disbelieved. 2. Belief in those messengers whose names we know, such as Muhammad, Ibrahim, Musa, Asa and Nu, may blessings and peace be upon them all. With regard to those who have been mentioned in general terms but whose names we do not know, we are obliged to believe in them in general terms, as Alaya says, interpretation of the meaning. The messenger, Muhammad, believes in what has been sent down to him from his Lord, and, so do, the believers. Each one believes in Alaya, his angels, his books, and his messengers. They say, we make no distinction between one another of his messengers. al Baqarah 2 to 285. And, indeed we have sent messengers before you, O Muhammad, of some of them we have related to you their story. And of some we have not related to you their story. Ghafir 4078. And we believe that the final messenger was our prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, and there is no prophet after him, as Allah says, interpretation of the meaning. Muhammad is not the father of any of your men, but he is the messenger of Alaya and the last, and, of the prophets. And Alaya is ever all aware of everything, al azad 3340. In al-Bukhari, 4416, and Muslim, 2404, it is narrated from Sidib and Nabi Waqqiz, may Alaya be pleased with him, that the messenger of Alaya, peace and blessings of Alaya be upon him, went out to Tabuk, and appointed Ali as his deputy, in Medina. Ali said, Are you leaving me in charge of the children and women? The Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Does it not please you that you are to me like Harun to Musa? 
but there will be no profit after me. Alaya favored him and singled him out for great blessings which were given to no other prophet. For example, one Alaya sent him to all of the two races of mankind and jinn, whereas each prophet who came before him was sent only to his own people. Two Alaya supported him against his enemies by striking fear into the hearts of all his enemies within the radius of one month's travel. Three the earth was made a place of prayer and a means of purification for him. Four war booty was made permissible for him, where it had not been permitted to any prophet before him. Five he will be granted the position of greater intercession and there are many other special favors that have been bestowed upon him, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. 3. Believing in the sound reports that have been narrated from the messengers. 4. Following the laws of the messenger who has been sent to us, namely the final prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, who was sent to all of mankind. Allah says, Interpretation of the Meaning. But no, by your Lord, they can have no faith, until they make you, O Muhammad, judge in all disputes between them, and find in themselves no resistance against your decisions. And accept, them, with full submission, Al-Nisa 465. We should note that belief in the messengers bears great fruit, such as 1. Knowledge of the mercy of Alaya towards his slaves and his care for them, as he sent the messengers to guide them to the path of Alaya and to show them how to worship Alaya. For human reason alone cannot come to know that. 2. Giving thanks to him for this great blessing. 3. Loving and venerating the messengers, blessing and peace be upon them, and praising them in the manner that befits them, because they are the messengers of Elia. And because they worshipped him and conveyed his message, and were sincere towards his slaves. And Elia knows best. Siam al Sunnah al Mantura, 97 102, Shari Usul al Thalatha by Sheikh Ibn Uthamin, 95, 96. Pillars of Faith belief in the prophets and messengers. The pillars of the fourth, the faith of the apostles prophets and messengers. Allah's Sunnah wal Jamaah have faith and believe that with the strong belief that God had sent the apostles to his servants as a giver of glad tidings and a warner. As well as calling for them to the religion of truth, to guide man and takes them out from darkness into the light. Dao of them it was to save the people of Dari polytheism and paganism, the worship of idols, as well as cleanse the society of damage. They have delivered the messages, perform the mandate, advise in people, and strive in Allah's way with the jihad the truth. They bring miracles mukjizat a real show for the correctness of them. Who deny one of them, then he has disbelieved in Allah. The Almighty and to all the apostles. There is no outstanding lidak able to do by the man of God run through the hands of the prophet in line with the preaching to justify it. The occurrence of miracles is one of the things that may, not impossible. Therefore, the God who created the cause and effect, the power to change the system, thus, it is not subject to the provisions of the previous. Not surprising and there's nothing strange about it in conjunction with the power of God is not limited. He does what he wills by faster than the blink of an eye, he said. Verily, his command, when he intends anything, is only to say to him, B. Then it is. Yashin, 82. He ta Allah said, Verily, those who disbelieve in Allah and his messengers and intend to distinguish between, belief in, God and his messengers, with say, we believe in some and disbelieve in the most, the other. And mean, with these words, take the road, middle, in between that, faith or disbelieve, they are the people who rejected truth. We have prepared for those who disbelieve it is a humiliating punishment. People who believe in Allah and his apostles and do not distinguish any of them, Allah will give them their rewards. And Allah is oft forgiving, the most merciful. And Niza, 150-153. God explains the wisdom of the sending of the apostles glorious. He said. Their messengers, as apostles a bearer of good news and employer warning so there is no excuse for a human being denied Allah after he sent the apostles. And Allah is the mighty the all-wise. And Niza, 165. God sent the prophets and apostles very much, the Mantara them are mentioned him. To us in his holy book, or through spoken of his prophet, and in between them there are not rumored him to us. He said. And verily, we have sent some people apostles before you, between them there is what we related to thee, and between them there are, also, that we don't tell you. Gafir, 78. And he said. And verily we sent messengers to every nation, to call for, worship Allah, alone, and eschew evil, and nail, 
36. Their name mentioned in the Quran as much as 25 apostles and prophets, namely father of human, i.e. Adam, then Idris, Noah, Hud, Sali, Ibrahim, Lut, Ismail, Ishak, Yagub, Yusuf, Shu'aib, Ayub, Jilkifli, Musa, Harun, Davud, Suleiman, Alias, Aliasa, Yunus, Zechariah, Yahya, Isa, and Muhammad. The seal of the dot the Prophet and the Messenger made blessings and peace bestowed by God to all of them. God has preferred some of the Prophets and Messengers above others. The people agreed that the Apostles more than the Prophets. After that, the primacy of the Apostles is different between them. Apostles and Prophets are the most main as Ulul Azmi, there were five, namely Muhammad, Noah, Ibrahim, Musa, and Isa. Ulul Azmi is the Prophet of Islam the seal of the prophets and apostles, the apostle of the Lord of the worlds, Muhammad ibn Abdullah. God said. But he is the messenger of Allah and the seal of the prophets. Al-Azab, 40. Allah's Sunnah wal Jama believe in all of them, either his name is mentioned by God and that is not mentioned, the beginning of them, namely Adam, to the end of them, cover them and most of them. Our prophet Muhammad ibn Abdullah made blessings bestowed God for them all. The faith of the apostles is a faith our mujmal, global, while the faith of our prophet Muhammad is a faith that is detailed consequential little but follow, him in everything he was carrying in detail. Muhammad the Messenger of Allah He is a Bulkasim Muhammad bin Abdullah bin Abd al-Mudalib ibn Hashim ibn Abdi Manaf bin Kshai bin Kalab bin Mur bin Kab bin Lu'a bin Ghalib bin Fire bin Malik bin Nadra bin Kanana bin Kuzaima bin Mudraka bin Ilyas bin Mudar bin Nizar bin Mad bin Adnan and Adnan is one of the son of God's prophet Ismail bin Ibrahim al-Khalil greetings bless our prophet and on both. He is the seal of the prophets and messengers, as well as the messenger of God to all mankind. He is the servant who should not be worshipped, and messenger should not be denied. He is the best creature, a creature that most of the main and most noble in the sight of Allah, the exalted, ennobled the most high, and his most close to God. He was sent to mankind and the jinn with the truth, and the guidance, sent by God as a mercy to the universe, as his word. And we have not sent you but to, be, a mercy to the worlds. al Anbiya, 107. Allah sent down his book to him and aided him upon his religion, and commissioned him to deliver his treatise. God has been protecting him from a mistake in conveying this treatise, as his word. And not that saying it, al Quran, according to the will desires. It is no less than a revelation that is revealed, to him. And Najim, 3-4. Unauthorized faith of a servant so he is faithful to his apostleship and testify on his prophethood. Who obey him, he enters paradise, and whoever disobeys him, he entered hell. God said. But no, by your Lord, they, in fact, is not faithful to them make you judge in all their disputes, then they do not mind in their hearts against the verdict you gave. And they received it with fully and Nisa, 65. All the Prophet was sent to his people in particular, while Muhammad was sent to all mankind, as his word. And we have not sent you but to all mankind as a bringer of good tidings and warners, Saba, 28. Allah's Sunnah believe that God the Almighty favor support strengthen, his prophets with miracles which are real and clear passages. In between the miracles and the largest is Alcorn with which God put forward a challenge to the people of the most eloquent and most profound the language, as well as the most capable. Bermondic, Logic. The greatest miracle Alcorn, by which God strengthens his prophet is a miracle of the Isra and Miraj. Allah's Sunnah believe that the prophet Dimarikin in a conscious state with the spirit and the body into the sky, that on the night of the Isra, he the trip on a night from the sacred mosque to the farthest mosque based on the Nash Alcorn. Allah Ta'ala says, Glory be to Allah who has taken his servant one night from Masjid al-Haram to Masjid al-Aqsa, which we have blessed around it so that we might show him most of the signs of the greatness of our. Indeed, he is the hearing the seeing. al 1. Then he dimmerai into the sky, where he rose to the seventh heaven, then to the top of it where God wants in the form of a high place. And a, place of, it on the side of Sidraj al-Muntaha on the side of the heaven place of residence. God bestowed him with all that he wills, gave revelation to him and conversed with him, as well as the prescribed prayers five times in a day and a night. He entered paradise and saw, enjoyment, his view of hell, scene of angels, and saw Gabriel in a way that is actually as created by God. The Prophet's heart did not lie of what he saw, 
but all he sees with his eyes is the truth, as the exaltation and glorification of him above all the prophets. As well showing his high position more than all of them. Then he stopped at the Beit al and prayer with the Prophet as a priest, then back to Makkah before the dawn. Allah Ta'ala says, and he certainly saw him, in dot apparently the original, at the time of the other, i.e., in Sidraj al Muntaha. Nearby there is a heaven a place to live. Muhammad saw Gabriel, when Sidraj al Muntaha overwhelmed by something covering him. Dot vision, Muhammad, does not turn away from what he saw it and not, also, to go beyond it. Indeed he has seen some of the signs of the, power, his rad most. And Najm, 13-18. And between the miracles he is also the, one dot the splitting of the moon, one of the great miracles that God gave to his prophet as a proof of his prophethood. It happened in Makkah, when the unbelievers ask a proof from him. Two dot multiply food for him, and this happens to him more than once. Three dot multiply the water and the water gushing between her fingers noble, as well as food glorify him time. Eden. This often happens on messenger. 4. Heal the sick and treat the majority of his best friend with both hands without medicine. Mentioned in the Ash-Shayihan and anything else from the books of Sunan and Musnad description of the events that occurred on the night of which endowed it. 5. Animal ethical with him, the trees submit to him, and the rocks say hello to him a lay opposite. 6. Reply to hasten towards some people who betray and attack them. 7. He reported some cases of the occult. He talked about some things that happened that far away from him soon after it happened. He also informed about the matters of the unseen, which has not yet happened, but what happened after that, as he can tell. 8. He do a prayer in general granted. 9. God keep him and prevented the enemy from him. From Abu Her era, he said that Abu Jal said, did Muhammad put his face in front of you? Answered, Yes, Law said, by Lata and Uzzah, if I saw him do it. Surely I will stomp on his neck or I immerse his face in the mud. Then the Prophet came. The moment he is praying, Abu Jal thought I could step on his neck. Nothing surprised them of Abu Jal, but because he drew himself and let go of both his hands. Asked him, What's wrong with you? Law replied, Verily, between me and him there the trench of fire something scary, and wings, the prophet said, if he came closer. Then angel snatches one by one members of his body. Hadith Muslim, 